Hello, calculator aficionados. All right, I want to show two things in this video. I want to first show how the TI's handling of previous expressions and results differs from the method used on the Sharp and the Casio. It's what I consider probably the number one strength of the TI. And then I want to also show how the Casio falls short. I think this is definitely a weakness when it comes to reusing a previous computation or a result of a computation. So the problem we're going to use as an example is this one here. A 50 pound mass object travels 11,931 feet in 123 seconds. What is its kinetic energy in joules? So we need the metric uh, energy and rather than converting at the very end I'm going to convert the givens the pound mass and the feet into our metric units. Helps me make the point better of how these calculators differ. All right, so let me get in there a little bit better. TI Pro, 36X Pro. We do 11931 divided by 123 seconds and get our result, 97. And I need that in, that's feet per second, I need meters per second. So I'm going to divide that by 3.28, because there's 3.28 feet per meter. And we get our answer there. And now let's convert our 50 pounds mass by 2.2 to convert it to kilograms. And now let's use our kinetic energy equation, which is one half the mass. And this is what's great about the TI. I can just go up there, hit the d-pad and go up, grab my mass, and then multiply by, go back up, grab the velocity, square it, and get our answer. 9938 joules. Let's do the same thing on the sharp. 11931 divided by 123 seconds, but we need to convert that to meters per second. So we get that answer. It's expressed as a fraction. You can toggle between fractions and uh, decimals with this change button. And then we want to do 50 divided by 2.2. We get that answer. And now we go to do our calculation and realize, oh, we forgot to store those values. There's no easy way to reuse them like on the TI. But I can go up and say, let's just start with this. This is my mass. I'm going to store that. So hit the store, put it in A. And then I'm going to go up and grab my velocity, and I'm going to store that in B. So now I have the two values, and now I can just do one-half mass, which was recall A, times my velocity, recall B, and square it. And we get the same result, 9938 joules. And lastly, let's do it on the Casio. We do 11931 divided by 123. We get our 97. Let's divide that by 3.28. That's our velocity. Now let's do our 50 divided by 2.2 and our mass. We realize, oh, we should have stored these values. So let's store this one into A. Got it. Now let's go up and store this one, our velocity, into B. Store B. That's weird. It didn't actually store what I wanted it to store. It stored the answer, which was the most recent calculation or result. And that stinks. I know of no way to grab that previous calculation and use it. So I consider that a definite weakness of the Casio. It's not horrible. It's not terrible to just retype that. But it should work like the Sharp. And then the TI is really slick because you can just go up and reuse the calculations. Um, what I do like about the Casio is it's very good for math, like when you do square roots and whatnot. It does a good job with the quadratic formula, but this is, a, this is not what I would want if I were an engineer or a physics major. Thanks for listening.